Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn what are the important theory questions to be studied for MCOM Part 1 Semester 2 of the subject Research Methodology for Business. A very important video for all the MCOM Sem 2 students. Okay. In this video, we are going to learn basically, you know, what are the topics that you need to cover up under various modules and it will be, you know, more or less important enough to, you know, learn only those questions and you can attempt the entire paper accordingly. Okay, so let us see which are the questions one by one. Under module one, that is based on introduction to research, the following questions are, number one, what are the features and importance of research in business? Second, explain the objectives of research. Third, explain the types of research. Fourth, explain the essential of research design. Fifth, explain the steps in creating research design. Next, explain the significance of review of literature. Uh, next, explain the formulation, importance and types of hypothesis. And last, explain the significance, methods, and factors that are determining the sample size. They can be individual questions also based on that. Okay. So first module is based on first they are talking about features, important objectives, and types of research. Then we have importance of research design and steps. Then review of literature, separate part. Hypothesis may how you formulate what are the importance and types, and sampling size may importance, types, and factors. Okay. So these are the important questions from the very first module one under uh, the subject research methodology next second module the chapter name is research process under that number one what are the stages in research process second explain the sources of primary data collection next explain the advantages and disadvantages of primary data next explain the advantages and disadvantage of secondary data. Next, factors affecting the choice of method of data collection or what are the factors affecting the choice. Next, explain the types and steps in creating a questionnaire design or questionnaire designing. And last, explain the essential of good questionnaire. Okay, so under module two, you have to first learn about the research process, the stages. Okay, then what are the sources of primary as well as secondary data collection with their advantage and disadvantage? What are the methods or you know factors which affects your choice of selecting those data? Okay, how to create a questionnaire? What are the types and steps? And what are the essential of a very good question? Yeah. So these are the questions from second module. Okay, next, from third module, uh, explain the significance of data processing in research. Uh, this is not research process, okay, the data processing chapter, uh, module three. So explain the significance of data processing in research. Second, explain the stages in data processing. Explain, now so these can be separately asked, measures of central tendency under which you have mean, median, mode and stuff. Measures of dispersion under which you have standard deviations, mean deviation. Correlation analysis under which you have Carl Pearson and Spearman rank correlation. And regression analysis. Now in this you don't have to solve somebody can put an example to solve, you, know, you can put an example and explain that example. Next, again you can ask, you can ask individually, explain the t-test, z-test, chi-square test and ANOVA. And last, explain the precaution in data interpretation. Okay, so these are the question in your question uh, in your module three. Now remember, uh, the textbook has four modules, but the fourth module, may there's an option. You either do the theory or go for objectives. It will be hundred percent sure that uh, majority or uh, maximum of y'all should go for the objectives, or even hundred percent of y'all will go for objectives. So question number you know one, question number two, question number three comes from module one, two, and three. And question number four is basically objectives or module four. 
so i would prefer that you all don't attempt the fourth module instead go for the objective which will be any time better than the theory part okay so basically in research methodology you only have to learn the three module module number 1 2 and 3 okay so i hope you all have noted down all the questions uh, the important question for your research methodology subject chalo with that we will be ending this video here thank you